Hi guys, welcome to another sort of amateur deconstruction. I'm going to make a guitar amplifier. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's fun. Um, one thing I did notice, just want to, uh, right, first of all, what am I doing? I have got, or had, um, one of those, which came with a guitar kit that I reviewed previously, and I've taken it to bits. 15 watt amplifier, in there. And I took apart my old um, sidekick from Fender, or Squire, I suppose. I took that to bits. Now, I just thought, I saw this and I thought how, how awesome this would be for you to see. Right, so there's an overdrive and clean button there. Right, what that actually does is... If I get my finger in here without getting in the way of the light. There are two chips. One is there. One is there, and the other is there. Now what that button does, is when it says it turns the overdrive on, that's true, all it does is it swaps between that chip and that chip. They are both op-amps, um, these being solid-state amplifiers, I can't actually get it to autofocus, sorry. There you go. Okay, so that's the modern number. Now. This one has got two, because of that boost button, I swear it is. This one over here has one chip. See? Just the one in there. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you who can actually see through pixels and bad focusing will notice. So this is 4558D, and that one, it, all those two, are 4588DD. The difference is amazing, it's none. But this one runs at 15 watts, and that one runs at 10. There we go. Anyway, these are the speakers that I pulled out. <laughs> these are, this is the one from uh, this one. That's the model number. And apparently this is a um, 8 ohm uh, speaker, a uh, 15 watt speaker, I'm guessing, to match with the uh, power output. And this one is a 4 ohm uh, <laughs> unbranded psychic one. Um, yeah, so that's that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the chip. I'm going to use this amplifier purely because it's got more buttons on it. And it's got weird <laughs> inputs. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use this one because it's got more buttons on it. It's even got a boost button. It's got a boost button as well. Um, sounds diabolical. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in uh, series because um, that makes 12 <laughs> 12 ohms this is why it's amateur time here right? it's 12 ohms and I'm going to swap that chip I'm going to see if I can do an in place swap of that chip you can't see that one, the op amp in there that one, you can see it there we go, that one there I'm going to see if I can do that one there. Ooh, can't see it. That one there. I'm going to see if I can do an in place one, in place swap, um, and boost it up to 30 watts. And maybe get a couple of Celestians. Who knows? Who knows? Or I might even do uh, my own circuit. Because I'm getting there. I know roughly what I'm doing. But yeah, it's amateur time. So the first thing I'm going to do is get some kind of rig up. Then I'm going to replace that chip down there, that will pamp with a different one or rig up some kind of way of changing it. Um, and I'm going to put these in a cab. So hopefully 30 watts through these doesn't melt them. It should make them pretty loud. Or well, they're going to fall to bits. If they fall to bits, great, because it gives me an excuse to buy some new ones. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. Right, catch you guys later.